Hey, with us now, we've got the multi-talented actor, director, author, and musician, David Duchovny. David, thank you for being with us. And also, i got to say, not only author, best-selling author. How yes, crazy thanks. is that, huh? It, uh, it's, it's a surreal, it's like a, I come from a, a fa my father was a writer, so, so it's like a fantasy that yeah. I can say uh, best-seller. I'm having it framed, you know, a little piece of paper. Yeah. Where, and thank goodness I was like number 16, but you know, they have that little asterisk where they say sales were indistinguishable from 15. So otherwise I wouldn't have made the list. That's huge. Yeah. No, that's fantastic. <laughs> yeah. I, I want to talk about creativity. Yeah. I want to talk about genius. And you always wonder where it comes from. Paul mm -hmm. McCartney had a dream when he wrote yesterday. It mm -hmm. came out as scrambled eggs. Mm -hmm. Other people get, <laughs> get creativity from all these strange sources. Right. What about you as an actor, as an author, now as a musician? Where did, where's it come from? from um, you know, I, I, I've been thinking about this some as, as I've been writing because I, I see my kids and they, they've got the phone and mm -hmm. all, all the information they need is, is on the phone. Mm -hmm. And for me, creativity is where you throw, you throw a bunch of stuff that you've learned and it sits in your brain right. rather, rather than sitting in the phone. Right. And as it marinates in your brain, it comes up with new connections and this new kind of amalgamation of things is born. Right. So I, I worry actually about the future of that kind of creativity because th this phone is now the brain. And yeah. you don't actually have to hold on to anything because you know here in my, I'm calling this book a phone, it's not. Right. Uh, here in my pocket, I've got all the answers yeah. rather than some. And I don't want us to sound like old men. Well, but, you well, know, already I, I We are old men. Yeah. But I've written, you know, I've written, you know, hundreds of songs. Right. Two or three of them may be even good. Right. But I, 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 I realized that if I had a phone, an iPad, when I was 12, 13, 14. You wouldn't have made any Instead either. of going down in my basement because I had just broken up with yet another girl right. who hated me. Right. I wouldn't sit there and slog through three hours of lyrics right. or trying to figure out a melody. I would just go on the phone. It right. really does, I'm afraid it does, short yeah. circuit the creative process. Well, I think it's gonna be a different kind of creativity. I think every, every technological advancement is going to demand a different kind of creativity like yep. television or movies mm -hmm. or even books. What's interesting also to me is that you know, there's all this discussion about violence and sex in movies and television and all that stuff and whether or not it, it, it leads to more violence. Uh, in the 19th century, when the novel became the popular form of entertainment, right. the, the, the novel was the movies of its day. Because mm -hmm. people said, oh my God, you know, they're writing about regular people doing regular things. This is horrible. Right. This is going to lead to people doing the things that they're reading about in these novels. So now we've got this thing that we call a novel that is considered high culture. Right. When in fact it started the way television movies. So, so I imagine the phones, you know, they'll figure out a way yeah. that it'll be a new type of creativity. So when did, do you think you were born with a creative impulse? Do you, is it something that you learned? I think we all are. Do you remember a moment though where you said, this is what I want to do? I don't want to be a banker. I don't want to be an accountant. I don't want to be a lawyer. Yeah. I want to create. Um, you know, I, as I was growing up, I just wanted to play sports. And I figure that's creative in another way, like physically creative. It, yeah. there, you don't know the end point. It's all Im improvisation. Mm -hmm. So I think, uh, I think I came from just liking not knowing what was going to happen. And I think that uh, creativity is something like that. You just don't know. You know, you're making it up. I yeah. like to make things up. Of all the things you've done, what are you the most proud of as an artist? Uh, where you sit back and you look back and go, okay, wait a second. Yeah. I don't know where that came from. Yeah. Could have been a flash of genius. Right. Uh, that's a lot better than I even thought it yeah. was at the time. Right. Is, there a mo is there a moment? Is there a show? Is there a performance? Uh, it, it, there's, there's a few things. I mean, uh, Holy Cow would be one of those. Just, uh, I don't know where it came from. Just kind of came out. and. Mm -hmm. It's almost like you don't want to take responsibility for it. It's like, no. it's like, well, you know, I don't know. I don't know. You how don't, that. you don't know where that came from. No, I don't know how that happened or ha happened so quickly. Uh, yeah. The music, because I never was a musician, I, I'm, I'm amazed and, and proud of that. And then uh, the movie that I wrote and directed was very important to me, House of D. So. Um, you know, it doesn't matter whether, it, it, it's not so much like the success of it or the, the critical or the commercial success of it, it's, it's really the experience of doing it that stays with me. So those would be three things. You're like a renaissance man. What's next? The pan flute? What, what are you gonna, what are you gonna do? Nuclear fusion? What? No, do, I was do thinking you, of doing a little nuclear fusion. Why yeah, not? Why not? Why, why not? Why leave it to the experts? Do you, That's what I always say. <laughs> exactly. Well, thank you for doing this. Thank you. Greatly appreciate Thanks. it. Thanks. All right, we're back in a minute.